Hey guys, Jim Edwards here, and welcome to another edition of Letting the Chickens Out with Jim. And so today we're going to answer the question, what should I use, a video sales letter, a long sales letter, or a short sales letter? Which do you think works best? And I'm going to give you my personal answer, and then I'm going to give you my professional answer. So my personal answer is the thing that I'm starting with pretty much on everything we do now is a video sales letter. So we've got a headline, then we've got the video, then typically we have a buy button, then we have some bullets underneath that. We have a summary of what they're going to get. We have the guarantee, we have another buy button, and then probably a PS. That's the pattern that we seem to be using for anything that's under a couple hundred bucks. Um, again, that's for our audience. Now, why, why are we using that? Well, it's quick, it's easy for people to digest, and it sells well. Now, does that mean long-form sales letters are dead? No, because I've seen them used very effectively and I've used them myself, because when we sell higher price stuff, come on chickens, when we sell higher price stuff, a lot of times you have to give people more information, you have to give them more data to be able to make their decision. So in that case, typically what we'll do is we'll have a headline, we'll have the video sales letter, we'll have a buy button, and then we'll have a long form sales letter underneath all of that. And it's okay if the long form sales letter duplicates a lot of what you share in the, um, in the video sales letter. There's nothing wrong with that. Because what you're going to assume is that people are watching either or, or um, maybe they'll watch both. So, and when would you use a short sales letter? And in my opinion, a short sales letter is something that when you're doing something cheap or you're doing something not very, uh, that doesn't require a whole lot of thought, then using a short sales letter makes sense as well. So that's what we're doing, and now the professional answer is you have to test. Anybody who tells you, oh, the only thing you're going to use in this situation is this one, and that's the best one, is full of shit. Because you don't know anything about anything until you test. So somebody might say, oh, well, video sales letter is going to work best here. They don't know that. What people fall into are patterns, things that work for them, things where they can get results and it's easy for them to get going on something. That's all that is. And I do the exact same thing. It's like, hey, you know what? We did this before, we got good results. So let's just go ahead and do this again because I got other stuff I need to do. I mean, that's, that's what we do. So the bottom line is you, you have to test. But me personally, I start with the video sales letter with the format that I just told you right there. Headline, video sales letter, buy button, bullets of what the, of basically bullets, then a summary of what they're going to get, a guarantee, call to action one last time, and then a PS, and that's it. So anyway, that's my answer for what works better, long form sales copy, video sales letter, or short sales copy. Everybody have a great day. Give some comments down in, in the, in the uh, or say something in the comments below. Sorry, I'm thinking about chickens and stuff, but they're all excited because they're getting their snacks. And everybody have a great day. Let me know what you think and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.